is Joseph Coco. I'm at APE 2014 on behalf of Becca Hilburn's Art Process Blog, Keep on Trucking, Nato Soup. If you could introduce yourself, please, Mike. Uh, my name is Mike. I'm a cartoonist and video game artist. Awesome. And what brings you to APE this year? Um, well, I love comics, and I love reading other people's comics, and I like influencing and being influenced by other artists and their styles, and I just like soaking in all the information. Yeah. And um, I'm dead by the end of it, but it's it's pretty fun. Yeah, well, that's, that's <laughs> the tough part about a convention. You get to meet so many great people, but then it's like complete exhaustion afterwards, because it, as fun as it is, it really is work. It, uh, it's, it's, it's fun work. <laughs> okay, and can you tell me a little bit about your work? Uh, what's your? Do you have anything that's debuting at APE this year? Uh, what was the question again? Can you tell me about your work? Do you have anything that's debuting at APE this year? Uh, actually, uh, right now, the newest thing are uh, prints. I just made a lot of prints of uh, artwork that I've been basically featuring just on Instagram and Twitter. Yeah. I'm free, and I, I just thought I would make prints of them, so... Okay, and uh, your, there are digital prints? Yep. Alright, and uh, what was what, uh, what was the process behind that? You just wanted to do something with those assets you were producing, or you found that um, Ape is a good show to, to have prints at? I think so. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely a good show to have prints. Um, I, I see a lot... I see a lot of prints and toys and a lot of non-comic stuff here as well. Yeah. Um, I've always been worried... I've always been worried that comics might not sell as much, but I guess it really depends on the quality of the comics and, like, whether they're color or black and white, so there's, there's variations. I'm yeah. Still, I'm still trying to figure that out, so... Right. Different uh, crowds at different conventions have priorities that vary. Um, do you find that people are, are attracted to your sort of uh, work here at Ape? That is still to be determined. Okay. <laughs> is this your first time at Ape? Sorry, I forgot to. Uh, ask I've been you here that. a couple of times, uh, but I, I've actually been—I actually haven't been going for a couple of years. So I, I've been back. This is uh, my first time back for a couple of years. So. Right. Is it at a different venue this year? I, I heard Ape switch uh, not too long ago. It used to be at a place called the Concourse yeah. Pavilion in the Soma District, and so I think it's been here once before. Uh, but this is my first time at the. Uh, at this place. So. Right. Uh, and can you tell me a little bit about um, what inspired your work? You mentioned that you do some video game art as well. Actually, what inspires most of my work um, is underground and independent comics. I was a big fan of um, Robert Crumb and Dan Daniel Klaus and um, a lot of lowbrow artists like uh, Robert Williams. Um, hard to come up with names on the spot sometimes. I hope you're editing this. <laughs> <laughs> no, it'll, it'll be fine. Yeah. Um, so, uh, what brought you specifically back to APE? Have you been attending other conventions in the meantime, or you just wanted to get back in the circuit? You know, I missed it. Uh, there was one called SF Team Fest that I missed. Uh, I'm, I'm really upset about it, but uh, I would have liked to go to that one. I would have also liked to go to SPX. Yeah, done? yeah, we um, talked about that. It sounds like that was really cool, and I, 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 I'm really bummed that I missed it, but uh, I'm, I'm hoping to go next year. Yeah, so. well, it's a lottery art show, so I'm sure it, it helps. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it helps to know other people who are attending, because then you can kind of pool your resources together and in, increase your chances of, of someone getting in. No, that's, uh, yeah, that's a good uh, sneaky strategy. <laughs> I, I think that's done pretty often, especially for that's how a lot of people tend to attend the same year over and over that they they've kind of built a community and they know. Oh, well, I'm going to invite my friend if I get in that sort of thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I'll but. <laughs> Sure, sure. Um, so, can you tell me a little bit about comics on the West Coast? Uh, a lot of uh, Nata Soup's, uh, Becca Hilburn's followers are from the East Coast. Um, so, do you know much about the East Coast comic scene? East Coast, what, I, I, I'm not really good with names. <laughs> I, I'm the worst person to, to, to uh, talk about names. But, oh, it's fine. Uh, so I just meant. In fact, when you leave, I'll I'll come up with like a list of my ten favorite after you leave, and then it'll be like. <laughs> well, I'm not 
not necessarily talking about specifically artists. I mean, uh, what are fans looking for on the West Coast, do you, do you feel like? Is there just such a large variety that um, there isn't anything that, in particular, you think would draw a West Coast fan to your table? As far as, like, people buying comics here in conventions, I yep. don't know. I, I, I know a lot of people like webcomics, but I don't, I don't really have a good idea of, like, what kind of comics people buy at conventions. Um, I'm assuming pretty cheap ones. Pretty small <laughs> and, like, compact. And, uh, because I, I do see a lot. I see mostly the prints. So, the prints and toys and t-shirts and things like that. Yeah. So, I've seen a lot of art people as well. Yeah. So they're, not, yeah. they're not very narrative driven. Yeah, all. yeah. I've been seeing a lot of like full color art books. I think uh, people are just uh, attracted to the very um, bright visuals of those yeah. sort of things. But I'm sorry, I interrupted. Well, my impression is that um, a lot of people, a lot of comics from the East Coast are mostly narrative driven. I know a lot of art. I follow a lot of art. Comics as well. Like, um, advice to anyone who's considering coming to Ape for the first time?